So welcome into the channel. This is Sage. This is a healing tarot. Today we're going to be low. The audio is about to be a little bit on the lower side, but listen well. I will um, slow down when I'm speaking with you so you can hear me. The messages I'm about to get out for you, how to feel love right now in this time. So welcome and I thank you so much for being here. I do hope you find messages that are able to help you on your journey. Okay, much love. If you do, hit the like button, share the messages, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Alright, now let us get started. Oh, by the way, these will be general messages, so they may not all apply <laughs> to all of you. Need to take the ones that do apply and the rest, let them fly. So, welcome back. Let's get into your messages. You may not be experiencing large amounts of feelings of love right now, <clears throat> but you're making a transition. So there's a block and there's something that you need to let go of that you're in the midst of doing. You're figuring that out now. All right? You can come to your highest self, right? King of Cups vibration, Cancerian energy and i feel like that is why you're here you actually seeking ways to love yourself is the, a great act of love in itself but maybe you don't see that yet so i feel like you're about to realize this um i see love here for you too could be with, be with a fire sign um someone that's really really attractive are someone that finds you super attractive it's like your energies pull each other in or this is something that you are attracting there's something in your past and that is what you're in the midst of releasing so that you can come in alignment with this energy soulmate twin flame and if that's even with yourself it's uh, you see this feeling i mentioned earlier of you it is the, it is because you love yourself why you're seeking to do things that make you feel loved and all these things if you should align with that awareness that this is who i am i want the best for me i may not be going or feeling the best right now but overall my overall energy is for well-being that is what i need and so it's it's almost like you're about to start taking it easy on yourself in the midst of where in the midst of things emotionally i feel like you're dealing with a lot of energies inside it's almost like all of the energy has become one <clears throat> and you don't know what to do with it you know it's a lot of tension my darling Ooh. um you may be uh you have a vision or you may run into someone that could be your twin flame energy as you move away from the past the three of swords um, I really feel you making this beautiful transition. We have the two of hearts and the two of diamonds. And what you're leaving behind is the three of swords. So the hurt and the heartbreak. But where you find yourself now is the five of swords. In the midst of the transition where, all right, what do I need to release? Whew, like exhale. It's okay. So it's almost like you're afraid in this process. It's almost like you're about to cross a very wide river in the night and you're leaving you it's like the unknown perhaps but it's like you're leaving the safety of bank the land behind what you knew what okay what was stable for you you know what i mean what you used to rely upon what was dependable and you're about to it's like you're at this you're at the edge it's like you're about to step in to this water to make it across to where you need to be or to move away from what's really not serving you. You're going to need to become empowered to make it on this journey, really and truly. Empowerment. And you're probably going to get this by investing in yourself, in your own well-being, mentally, physically, all kind of alley. And you're going to do that by releasing your past and, and realizing that life is now. It's like dreaming again. 
there's so much for you to do and you have so much to do with this creative energy as a queen of wands so much to bring to dream to visualize and to bring into being i feel like you have big dreams there are businesses that you want to start you know things that you want to do even from the space of your heart um so recalibrate with yourself by realizing you are on the path that you're meant to be on it may feel strange to you or whatever but you're leading you're moving with your heart space and you're about to realize that you're aligning with what is meant for you i've been seeing this a lot <laughs> this ten of swords it's how you feel now but the beautiful thing about that is that five to ten so yeah, i'm telling you you're on your journey it's almost like you made it across right you made it across that river but where do you go from here it took a lot of your energy your willpower your determination i feel like you're gonna start creating again and i feel like you could feel you may feel tired you know wow look at that mm. so i really feel like spending time with yourself the four of hearts in your heart space meditating healing rejuvenating your energy what does that feel like there are things that you can do to really connect with your own heart space more it's going to um, boost your energy as well when you do that. It's going to give you clarity too. I want to just, it's almost like just um, be yourself. Take it easy. And be authentic. And I feel like you're going to celebrate. You're going to be aligning with feelings of well-being with the three hearts. Feel love right now. Give and take. Give and take. Balance. Equilibrium. Um, meditate. Move away from things that are not serving you. So I do feel like your major issue is you are still lingering around on the banking because, oh, and, and as I said, I feel like it's so cold. I don't know why you don't move inland. I feel like you don't because you may be afraid of what is there. Even though you haven't explored it or even thought of it. Moving inland, like, closer to the reason it all happened. Like, to find out why this happened. Maybe to explore your gifts. And I don't know, I feel like you may come to figure out what these are as you begin to embrace and accept yourself, where you've been, what you feel, where you are now. Okay. I feel like doing these things even taking action, just doing these things, connecting to what is divine in you, it clears away. It's readying you, really, because you have to go through this. You have to be here. You can't move inland with this feeling. So it's almost like you have to be spending this time with yourself to really clear away what you need to. And I don't know what that is. Well, I do know it's all of this. Or some of it, or the lingering essence of it. It's as if you're still questioning yourself why this happened, why this happened. But that is keeping you really hanging on to those feelings. Instead of being excited for what is ahead. You know, like, yes, I made it across. I'm hurrying in land. And you know what is there? There's this source. And it is an amazing source of well-being. You just don't feel that connection. It's almost as if you've somehow lost a connection to your North Star, your compass, 
your direction, your intuition, your emotions. That's why you need to be sitting with those emotions authentically, truthfully right now with yourself. Where you are, where you find yourself. And I feel like it is a lot. But as you work through this and you move gradually inland to where this awaits you and this answers not even answers it's more like what the answer for you because it's going to be an answer for you so start it's like moving building creating feelings new feelings uh new ideas <laughs> a new chemical formula i don't know a new agenda you know what i mean just gradually work your way inland and i have faith in you honestly it's your healing, you know. It's not going to happen overnight. I feel like you're working at it bit by bit. It's like bit by bit chipping away at it, getting there. Because, um, you know, I feel like you have been through a lot. <laughs> a lot. Look at that. You are still the king of cups. But you still wear the three of swords, the hurt, the shame, the guilt, and it keeps you suppressed or subdued, repressed. But a beautiful change is in the midst of your space. Cause, oh, you see the time that you spend um, with yourself Loving yourself, healing, taking actions of self-love. That is going to realign you with your vision. Because right now, I feel like you... It's almost like that river that you had to cross. It took a lot out of you. It's almost like it was you were there for years crossing it. You, you lost your memory, your sense of self, your direction. Like I said, I feel like you lost your compass energy. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like you were disoriented when you came on land and you made it through. So as you, oh, it's a great relief. As you spend time, you're going to remember yourself, your vision. You're going to realign. And that, that central energy, central compass, your north node, you're going to find that again. Right, and become on the right path. Self love, right? Much love. Thank you for listening. I hope full messages that resonate with you and can help you on your journey. If you did, leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next reading. Take care. Bye.